guys, welcome to Travel Beans. I'm happy as always, but there is someone who's a little bit sad today. I'm really sad. We're leaving Misha. We're leaving our little fluff ball here today. We've been with her for about five weeks, and I've grown to become quite attached to her. So this is our last night in Tokyo now. We're going to Shinjuku, and we thought we had to start the video here. We just left the apartment, and we see one of the craziest things ever. <laughs> I don't know if you can see right behind me. There is a spider web, and there is something caught in the spider web, and it's fucking huge! I think it's one of those things that makes all the noise here. I think it's called like a cicada, or a I don't know. I'm not Maybe you can hear it right now, because in the trees there's just this Super really loud. loud, almost like cricket-like noise. We also have so much luggage with us. And it is, of course, another sweaty day in Tokyo. So it's not going to be the best journey that we've done. Tokyo is quite famous for having very busy public transport. It's one of the biggest and busiest cities in the world. We're not looking forward to this journey, but if you're trying to get a taxi, it's a 25-minute journey by taxi, and it costs over $120. Or if we take the public transport, it's going to cost us about 10 It's a no-brainer, mm -hmm. but we're going to be cramped like little sardines. Yes. So if we're going to have Sardines! No, I had to interrupt you for that. Amazing. So we're going to have to suffer with this journey. So are you guys. You're going to come with us. Let's do this. We have made it and oh. shock horror. It wasn't busy for the first time ever. I know. Thank we God. So, lucky. so we saved ourselves a lot of money by not getting a taxi and just getting public transport. And it really wasn't that bad. I thought it was going to be perfect. I'm very relieved. But it is still very hot. You can see the old drippage. The other day we actually came to try and find this place to book it and um, we got lost, we got hot, we got angry. Uh, we decided to book it online instead because we couldn't find it. So there is a chance that we won't even be able to stay there. Yeah, because we didn't find it last time. We also didn't get any confirmation, so yeah, they said hopefully they would call we're staying. Us with the confirmation. We never got a call, so it could be interesting. We just thought you would like to hear some negative negativities. <laughs> negativities, this is great. Because of the beans bit at the end. Let's go. Uh, okay, let's go find it. Ah! Say something. I am so sweaty and gross, and I wish I wasn't on the camera right now, but we've arrived at the place we're looking for here. And it may not look like much, but this is going to be our luxury accommodation for the next 24 hours. Let's go see if they've actually got a reservation or not. So, if all goes to plan, this should cost us about less than $25 for the night and we should have access to as much adult content as we want. So it's a win-win. They've got rooms just for ladies and then they've also got these other ones. And then the floor, you can't really see so much, I'll show you in a minute, hopefully, but the floor here is just somewhere you can just lie down and relax. Oh, you can see here. So the floor is just somewhere you can lie down and then they have a price for one hour, three hours, six hours a day, three days, one week, two weeks. So you can stay for quite cheap. So a deluxe room is for two people and it's 2,200, probably not including tax. Knowing these guys, let's go in. It's not looking good guys, they can't speak English, they don't have a clue what we're saying. It's like 4 o'clock, so 10, 10 minutes, we can, oh, we have to wait for 10 minutes maybe. He's given us little seats to sit on, to wait in this little waiting room. He speaks zero English, we speak zero Japanese, and I think we worked out using Google Translate that we have to wait 10 minutes until 4 o'clock until we can have a room. Yeah, and I don't know if that means we have a room at like 4 o'clock for 12 hours. Yeah. So we have to leave at 4 in the morning, or does it mean that we have a room for a whole day? It's a little bit confusing, but I'm, I'll take this over thinking we didn't going to have a room at all a second ago. Yeah. Maybe this is our room for the night. It's only $30. Look, you get your own fire extinguisher, you get your own, I don't know what that is, heater, because it's fucking hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> and your own free exit to the street, which is great because you could be in whatever that place is within 30 seconds And you could probably hang out with him if you want and his girlfriend. I think we're allowed in. I've got to fill this out I've got to guess what everything is So this has got to be my date of birth, right? I guess so Don't show how old I am. I'm 30 <laughs> uh, This is my name <laughs> <laughs> Just sign this bit here so, 
It's a great success, however it did cost double the price that we thought it was. But it's per person. Per person, it's about 20 odd dollars per purse. So bear that in mind. Also, they just say a lot of Japanese at you. And one of my rules here is if you just say hi, hi, which means yes to everything, it usually works out. This time I got a member's card. I don't know if I paid extra for that. I don't think so, but now I'm a member of one of these places and we're about to go in. We need to put a password to get in the room though. What's your impressions? It's amazing. I want to see it so bad. This is our room. This is where the magic's going to happen. I, I can't see in the room. I want to see. Oh, you squeeze through. This is so cool. This is weird. Yes, I, I would live it. in here for three months. It says outside that you can stay for two weeks for about 33,000 yen, which is something like $300. But we also thought the price was a lot less than we were going to pay, so I'm not sure if it really is that price. So it's very possible, though, that you could stay for a whole month in Tokyo for $600 in a little box room like this. And it's actually, for us to teach, this would actually be a perfect little room. Which... It's, nice. it's kind of bigger than some of the apartments I've stayed in in uh, Tokyo, to be honest. This is great. I mean, it's small. <laughs> But the aircon's working, there's a television with movies and there's games. There's a sink for the brushing that we do. It's a traditional thing we do in England is we brush our teeth. I don't know if you guys do it in your oh, own countries. Teeth. They also have here toilets, which is very useful for the excreting and urine eating. And also they have, I think, a kitchen so you can cook, so it can be very cheap. Wow. The, what is a little bit disconcerting is that everything is leathery, like the floor. And there's a little seat here. Now the amount of people that have sat in that seat looking at that screen and done things to their body is countless, I know that. Someone checked out of this room, that's why we had to wait till four o'clock. And we saw the, the guy, the receptionist, go with a little like load of spray. So all he's done is come in here and he's just sprayed everything down. A quick wipe and you're good to go. A couple just left here, which is better than a single man, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so we have a couple of cushions up there, good air conditioning, I'm nice and cool in here. This comfy seat, it'd be nice if we had two comfy seats, but I'm not going to complain too much. And, um, ooh, we've even got hangers, they've thought of everything, but there's no blankets. So, yeah, it might be a bit sticky laying on this in the heat. Oh, that's going to be so sticky! Yeah, lots of charging points, USB points, Wi-Fi. Oh, no pregnancy tests allowed. I think that's pregnancy tests. Um, so yeah, free Wi-Fi. I think it's fast Wi-Fi. Blu-ray player, headphones. So teach some lessons in here. Headphones so you can wank as loud as you like. Um, computer. <laughs> and it, also, all of the rooms are soundproof. I'll have you know. Really? It's advertised as the rooms all being soundproof, so you can. Uh, can you go outside and I'm gonna scream and then see if you hear me? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Oh, so shit. Like okay, so it's not that soundproof. <laughs> <It's> Semi soundproof. <laughs> okay, so we're going to unpack all our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have one hanger each. Um, we really have to prioritise what we don't want to be crinkled here. Um, <laughs> We have a shelf up there to put our stuff though, to be fair, which is more than I thought we had, so that'll be nice. Um, yeah, I plan on not unpacking anything whatsoever. Okay, let's have a little rest and a little wank and then we'll see you in a bit. Viewer discretion is advised. If you're a child, stop looking. Stop it. Stop There's it. But for adults... There. Ooh. Oh, we can't show boobs on YouTube? Oh yeah, sorry. Free the nipple, guys. <laughs>